Okay, so I'm going to show you basically how to do a science fair gra uh, table and graph. So we're going to start off with the general example that I tend to use of tomato plants and different types of fertilizers. So we're going to say the first fertilizer was 10% nitrogen. The second fertilizer was 5% nitrogen. The third fertilizer was 2.5% nitrogen and the last one had no nitrogen in it at all. Um, I can make this column you know fit the words by double clicking on this or scooting it around either way double clicking on it brings it out to the height it should be. I also had a couple different tests so I had test one, I had test two and I'm gonna make a column for average. Now, as I did my testing, I found out that the first tomato plant grew 4.5 centimeters, the second plant grew 5.0 centimeters, and I want to know the average. Uh, Excel will do that for you, but it will not average it for you if you have labels. You can see it's not happy right now. So I'm going to back up and say this has to just be 4.5, and this has to just be 5, so that when you average them, it will give you an average number. I'm going to fill in the rest of the numbers um, just kind of arbitrarily. I got some different numbers here and I got a 3.9. We'll say this is 3.2 and 2.8. All right. I can average the rest of these as well by putting in my average column. And there I go. So this is basically my table. Um, if I'm going to have this on my report, I can copy this box and go over to Microsoft Word. I'm going to call this a table. I want it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to go down and just make the words a little bit bigger for now. So my table is right here. Now it's not real helpful to have, well, we're going to slide that over so it all fits. Um, it's not real helpful to, to have the... Um, blank space here so I'm gonna click on this box and highlight the whole table and when I do I can go into table properties and say that I want down here on borders and shading a grid to go all the way around my table so it's all boxed in and it's nice and neat and ready to go now I want a graph to go down here as well and as I'm gonna try to enter a graph this information is helpful and I can even use this to insert a graph. I'm going to do a column graph right now. But with all those different columns, sometimes in different uh, tables or graphs it can get kind of messy. So I'm going to try to do a cleaner version by just using my average. So I'm going to copy this column and I'm also going to add my averages from my last column, I'm just going to type those in if I copy and paste them um, because Excel tries to figure out what you're doing, it's sometimes not happy. If I just type them in like that though, this is basically what I want. So I'm going to go up to insert column graph and here I've got more of what I want. This is a little bit cleaner version of, of this table. It's just the averages. So I'm going to get rid of this graph right now and this is the one I want. I don't need a legend so I can just delete that off and then I want some labels. If I go up to the top I've got layout which allows me to have different axis titles. I'm going to first go to my horizontal or x-axis and say I want a title below the axis. And this is my um, percentage of nitrogen in the fertilizer fertilizer so that's the the title I have all these different columns are are just telling you how much percentage of nitrogen is in the fertilizer I also want an x-axis or a y-axis title so I'm gonna go to my vertical axis I like the rotated title so it kinda fits in better there I'm going to say that this is the tomato plant.
plant growth. And the measurement I used was centimeters. So I'm going to put that in centimeters and leave it there. So this is my y-axis and my x-axis and I also need an overall chart title and your overall chart title should combine your x and y axis together. So I'm going to go to chart title right now and say I want it centered above the chart so it's not blocking anything and I want to say this is my tomato plant growth with different percentages of nitrogen fertilizer. That's kind of a long title, but it's summarizing what this graph is doing. It's not just happy plants. I could say, you know, the title of my graph is happy plants, but it's not telling you what these things are. By saying this is the per, um, tomato plant growth with different percentages of nitrogen fertilizer, you got what I'm doing. I'm going to copy this whole table or this whole graph, sorry, go back to Word, and I'm going to paste that into Microsoft Word, and it's right there, ready to go, and uh, I'm ready to move on. The last thing with my table, I should have a title for that table as well, and I can use the same title. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come up here. So that's now going to be the title for my table. I can... Uh, Make it look a little nicer by making it smaller and everything. Maybe center the whole situation here. But oh, um, just click on the, the table here and center the whole thing. So now I've got tomato plant growth with different percentages of nitrogen fertilizer. The last thing I want to add, just like down below, I wanted to tell you that I measured this in centimeters. So now I've got a title and a table and a title and a graph.